welcome back to school of civil engineering we have uh, shown you about in a previous video that how will design foundation how we'll find out its layout how we'll find out its detailing and also how we'll uh, redesign our foundation with its I mean with our requirement required sh uh, shape so if you're new to this video uh, you can watch our previous video that link are given in description and also if you think that uh, this channel is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so first of all uh, I will actually show you about that foundation okay so I'll go in 3 and for that foundation I'll show suppose uh, this is your this that is your uh, land area okay this is your land area but your foundation are going beyond that land area or I mean outside of land area so how will uh, use that eccentricity uh, eccentric foundation here within your land area so for that I mean just uh, simply I will uh, draw uh, eccentric area so with your I mean that will be near to your land area so uh, just from here first of click auto design depth okay then auto design reinforcement it will be also same after that uh, come here and give very eccentric so this is a uh, y direction so as we uh, move our foundation in that direction so i'll give here minus suppose uh, 25 okay inch just see here uh, sorry it's not okay suppose a uh, 20 okay and also it's uh, in y direction it's 20 just see here our foundation have moved okay and our foundation have moved here like that now everything is okay okay everything is okay now just uh, we'll come here and uh, design pad base just click here design pad base after that escape but see that our uh, foundation or foundation have failed just again right click and from here see that what is the issue here designing member sorry check member and share for bearing capacity summary it's also just see that its bearing capacity is huge okay it's also failing for bearing capacity bending capacity and share capacity punching punching share for everything it's failing so uh, after that uh, when it's okay then just click here and from here uh, just increase its size I will give it size 10 feet also I'll give it size 10 feet and also I will increase its depth suppose uh, 24 inch okay and again I will uh, use eccentric here suppose uh, it's 36 minus 36 and here uh, 36 here 36 like that I just uh, I'm just showing you something round uh, I mean something that how will uh, design our that slab then click and design pad base and escape just uh, see it's also failing so I will just uh, click here check member now it's only uh, limiting parameter bottoms and here uh, bearing capacity and bending capacity after that pad base design and escape it's also not okay so I will just select that and from here I will go for auto design size and depth okay then click here design pad base here uh, design pad base okay then uh, see that its size have increased and see uh, it's a past but also um, it's I mean it is uh, uh, outside of boundary so uh, I'll just again select that and from here I will give eccentricity suppose uh, 48 and here also 40 48 right so after that uh, I'll give it 12 feet 12 and uh, also 12 sorry 12 
feet then give her 12 feet and give the depth as uh, 24 like that so it's make the collation so I'll just increase that give her 11 and also I'll give her 11 it's also not okay so I'll give in a y direction it's 10 10 feet it's also not okay okay so uh, sorry in y direction in y direction actually it's a it's it is it is very high so I'll just in a y direction uh, 42 so it's done after that I will just again click here design pad bay and escape just see here uh, it's also not okay so what happened just check the design after the bears it's also failing in bearing summary so it's a uh, very little so after that actually actually uh, if I go here and see that the allowable bearing ca capacity I have give her allowable bearing capacity it's very low okay it's very low so if I increase that I actually uh, it's depend on your soil capacity but I'm uh, considering that my soil is a little bit good so I have provided that value now I will go again go for a uh, check design pad based check and escape that also it's failing so it who is failing now check member and see that it's pass in bearing capacity bending cap it's failing in bending capacity okay it's failing for bending capacity in uh, x direction it's okay but in y direction okay in y direction it's failing in bending capacity in y direction so I will again go here for uh, auto design auto design size okay or I'll go for auto design sorry uh, first of all I'll go for auto design depth design pad base so escape that now see that it's a past our foundation have passed now so actually in this way you can um, design your foundation uh, just see that our uh, previous size was that was our previous size because that was the eccentric that was the eccentric foundation but now see that our foundation is not uh, sorry that was the centroid of that foundation I mean column loader centroid of that foundation that's why our uh, foundation size was very uh, thick it's 5 feet 1 inch into 5 feet 1 inch and our depth was nearest uh, 11 feet I mean 11 inch but just see here when we'll uh, assume our foundation as uh, not center point of that I mean our column is not at center of that foundation uh, it's showing us I mean almost uh, double okay almost uh, depth is you know, triple and uh, our uh, foundation size have increased in double so just see that actually uh, sometimes it's required and there have no option sometimes because uh, our building will come till that point and uh, here they have another person wall so that's why we can design that actually so I think uh, it's okay to you okay uh, and if you think that that is really helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video and also uh, leave a comment your own comment inspires for the next work and actually if I uh, show you uh, in our I mean if I told you that uh, in our channel they have many video they have many many videos almost uh, 275 video already have uploaded and uh, here uh, I just want to upload any types of video I, I, uh, I mean any types of uh, software that are required for our civil engineering and I want to work with that and also I want to share that I, with you and also my experience with you so actually that was a real project that was a real project I am working with that so uh, our foundation will be not like that our foundation will be actually like that way 
okay so I think and if I show you about its reinforcement detailing so create generate reinforcement detailing press ok after that I will show you about our reinforcement detailing here is your reinforcement detailing and here is your foundation just see here our foundation here and uh, our number seven bar in 11 inch 11 plus 30 uh, I mean uh, 13 divided by 16 inch center to center distance and also uh, in our dead bar number 24 bar and it's in y x direction it's uh, 4 4 feet uh, it's showing us the 4 feet and 4 inch 59 by 64 uh, inch clear I mean center to center distance of river and number 70 bar and required of required number requirement of 24 bars here in x direction and y direction and also this is for bottom and uh, this is for top actually so as we are using eccentric column that's why it's also provided I mean it's also considered as top reinforcement and if we come here this is for top this for bottom so just see that our, our um, also our foundation I mean our total reinforcement requirement is also very high it's 0 0.928 tons can you believe that so I'll just close that no and uh, from here and from here I will just uh, just see that uh, we will I just I will just recommend you that all us will try to design a foundation as a eccentric I mean a uh, center foundation okay I mean a uh, symmetric foundation that will save huge amount of money and it will be very economical okay otherwise just see that uh, suppose if I consider that uh, to design I mean to uh, construct that foundation if you record uh, suppose 20,000 20,000 uh, taka or anything then uh, for that you record almost three times of it okay almost three time or if I see about its reinforcement requirement just come here generate detailing press ok and see what happened here actually just wait for some time as I'm screening that's why it's uh, actually it's taking time to open now see what happened actually what happened we'll see now sorry for the time but uh, I just want to show you that what is the difference between them I'm just now uh, actually for uh, that foundation they have no requirement of uh, top reinforcement okay and actually just see here here is the difference 0 0.031 I mean almost 100 times more more than I mean 300 times reinforcement are more required for that foundation just can you believe that if we want to and here almost the reinforcement required is number four bar okay number four bar and there um, software used reinforcement as number seven and also number seven reinforcement and also or uh, uh, top and bottom bar also uh, required for our eccentric foundation so I'll always recommend you that uh, please use symmetric foundation okay not asymmetric or eccentric foundation so thank you thank you very much and if you think that was helpful for it please press the like uh, like button leave a comment and also uh, share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video so thank you thank you very much stl stay connected till next video